Hello dear fans. How tsunamis occur. Tsunamis are huge ocean waves that are formed due to the powerful impact of natural disasters on the entire water column. More than 80% of tsunamis occur on the shores of the Pacific Ocean. Instructions. Step 1. The main cause of tsunamis is underground earthquakes. They account for more than 85% of the occurrence of these huge waves. An earthquake on the ocean floor causes a vertical movement of the ground. Part of the bottom rises, and the other goes down. The ocean surface begins to oscillate vertically, trying to return to its original position, which generates a series of long waves. Step 2. Not every underwater earthquake results in a tsunami. The movement of the entire layer of water can be carried out only by a sufficiently strong earthquake with a source located shallow under the bottom. In addition, the underwater tremors must resonate with the oscillations of the waves. Step 3. About 7% of tsunamis are caused by landslides. Often an earthquake leads to a landslide, and it already generates a powerful wave. An earthquake in Alaska in 1958 caused a landslide in Latuya Bay. A huge mass of ice and rocks fell from a height of 1,100 meters into the water. A wave arose that reached a height of more than 520 meters on the opposite shore of the bay. Step 4. Underwater volcanic eruptions account for about 5% of the occurrence of tsunamis. Violent volcanic explosions cause a shock wave that shakes the water mass. In addition, the water is set in motion, seeking to fill the voids of the ejected material. Huge tsunamis caused the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano in 1883. Step 5. Human activities can also cause a tsunami. In 1948, as a result of an underwater atomic explosion produced by the United States, a wave with a height of 28.6 meters arose. Step 6. The fall of a large meteorite into the ocean can also cause destructive waves. Step 7. Waves up to 21 meters high can be generated by hurricane force winds. However, they are not tsunamis, since in this case, there is no movement of the entire water layer. In addition, hurricane waves are short and cannot cause significant flooding onshore. Thanks for watching.